So the diamond, uh, one down. I'm harsh and I'm way again. No skills. So, yeah, this highest, of course, loud as well, because what's the point of doing this stealth without any skills and I'm harsh and I'm way again? Doing that is really easy in general. <laughs> yeah, doing it loud. So, yeah, what do you really have to do in this eyes? is one, you have to find the security room, uh, override the security, I think you have to, so that's an objective you have to wait for, and then you have to override the time lock, like one time lock and then one more, and both of the time locks last for one and a half minute, the security override lasts for 300 seconds, aka 5 minutes. So, yeah, uh, get a fairly bad security room, uh, in general, on the diamond, a lot of the spawns on the enemies are very close to you, so, loud, this is, uh, usually a heist where you want to control the spawn areas, a lot, that or you just want to run around and try to avoid enemies, if you cannot control the uh, spawn areas. Which, uh, guess what, and I cannot really control the spawns because I don't have any weapons that are good at killing. And, you know, the team AI isn't exactly the most reliable option in terms of killing enemies. See, I get the power box here in this uh, side room. It used to be a, a chivalry. Like, um, kind of back area with the chivalry pack yeah, items in it. But uh, after Raid of World War 2 came out, sometime after that, they changed it to uh, World, War, World War 2 like, uh, display thingy, I guess. <laughs> so, as well, just throwing in just uh, different artifact bags to. Uh, Try to make it so some of the enemies you just uh, go in the basement and be useless for like like five minutes or something. So yeah, just you know, chilling out, playing one down, just chilling with the AI. You no, know, just taking it slow. It's really, really slow. Not really uh, risking anything. Not shooting enemies. Well, not shooting enemies that much. I'm trying to be. Uh, a good citizen, a good, a good criminal that does not shoot too many, too many police officers. Is there a, even a thing that is called a good criminal? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, here I just decided to run to the um, fuse box just in case someone was going for it, but no. Nope. And as well, dodge failing me, so here I take the health damage. So that, that kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do really? I got uh, plenty of uh, doctor bags. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about going down here. Of course, uh, smacking people with the uh, electrical brass nuts. Stunning and making sure they will not uh, turn around and target me and start shooting me. In general, the electrical uh, melee weapons are extremely powerful. So yeah, here they finally go for the uh, power. So I have to run back here again. <laughs> Just uh, going past everybody. Um, of course, now I get a couple of good dodges. And make it back to the security room without uh, going down, which is really nice. Getting some expected dodges and all that stuff, so. Yeah, uh, this time around, you most likely know that noticed. I'm using uh, Smoke Bomb, which means I'm using Sicario. Mainly using Sicario for the, uh, the door you have to lockpick that goes into the diamond. Uh, that one can be uh, difficult to pick luck uh, if there is a lot of enemies around. And having the smoke bombs uh, uh, is really, really good when you're doing objectives. 
Because <laughs> a Vitsicario, when you are inside a smoke, you are close to invincible because you get a uh, really good dodge. You know, re you regain armor when you dodge something. And because how armor works in the game, as long as you have some armor, you can always tank, take one hit from everything except for snipers. So yeah, that's the reason why, for example, a, a perk deck like Anarchist is really, really strong in general. Anarchist both had the uh, two second invulnerability or health damage invulnerability after your armor breaks for two seconds every 30 seconds, I think you could proc it. it has a 30 second cooldown. And again, Anarchist, uh, especially when you're using suit, you regain armor very often, like every five seconds or something you regain a little bit of armor, and every time you damage something, you regain armor. 30 armor, I think. I think the perk that it says, say, you regain 10 armor, and you damage something every 1.5 seconds, but it's actually, I think it is actually 30. But it is at least higher than, uh, than uh, 10. Also, they're getting some good dodges. Something you, in general, have to rely a lot on <laughs> when you are running dodge builds. Let's get some good RNG here and there. But again, dodge in general in Payday 2, you are either invincible or you just die immediately. That is dodge in like how dodge in general works in Payday 2 for most of the time. I just like to personally use Sicario so I can force dodges here and there. Which makes the dodges a little bit more predictable. Which is always nice. I always prefer have some prefer to have something that is predictable over something that is completely random. So yeah, here there's a people in the basement. One bag there, the painting. One of the uh, cops <laughs> just uh, to get all the way down to the basement, and now they're most likely going to sit there for quite some time. So, as well here, I just decided to go into the basement and, you know, dominate someone or throw the painting a little bit further away to try to waste one more cop's uh, time a little bit more as well. Because why not? See, so yeah, here, waiting for the time lock. The first time lock. There's one more after here as well. Yeah, uh, of course I uh, as well. When it comes to cloakers and uh, tasers, if I can, I will try to kill them. But I will really not bother to spend time killing them. Yeah, here I sadly get tased, and when you get tased, you most likely go down. In uh, general, when you're using dodge, because dodge can only carry you so far. I gotta. Fairly good dodges there though, if I was taste. So if I was a little bit more lucky, I could have maybe gone away from that taser without going down. But again, when I got taste there, I was already expecting to go down, so... Yeah, and again, I'm not too worried about going down there, since I still have my own Dr. Bag Acid. And I also have uh, the Inspire on the bots, the Team AI. So yeah, now I have to wait uh, one, another 1 minute 30 seconds for the second time lock. And uh, thankfully at this point, I'm pretty sure all of the enemies that can spawn on the map have already spawned. So I don't get any more spawns. Which is always nice, which means uh, <laughs> no one will come in uh, into this room. Like yeah, and no one will spawn inside this room. Yeah, but they did add a sniper response to this heist. I personally don't really know why, because the diamond wasn't really easy or anything. Because if you play the game at like 60 or higher FPS, you know, the AI is a somewhat smarter. Or, you know, they do a little bit more. They don't uh, stare up walls for half an hour. And then maybe target one enemy or one of the players. 
And as well with the, the diamond, uh, one thing in general you kind of want to do when you're doing this loud with a... Uh, when you have skills and actual weapons and playing with other people, you kind of want to try to control the spawns. So yeah, here the smoke bomb comes in handy. Yeah, uh, I did actually have a... like some attempts before this. I think it was three times I died inside the smoke twice while trying to lockpick that door. Which... which is really, really frustrating because getting hit uh, twice in a row is fairly, fairly uncommon in general. And then you are sitting inside the smoke. Getting hit twice in a row if multiple times over and over and over again is just frustrating. So yeah, here is the uh, puzzle for uh, to get to the diamond without uh, activating the smoke. Since the assault wave is over, I just take my sweet time. I don't really like doing this puzzle when there's a lot of turns on it. Yeah, as you heard there, there's a sniper spawning. One of the uh, new sniper spawns that uh, they added to the size. Not really too much of a problem. Uh, yeah. But I might as well uh, take a, try to just take the sniper out because the sniper can, can be uh, very annoying. And just uh, down me as I try to run out of the room. And I'm going to signal the helicopter. So yeah, still taking my time resetting the uh, puzzle over and over and over again until I get a good pattern. And I think... This is the one where I get a good one that I finally go for. I think. Let's see. Let's see, is this the one? Yep. Straight up. <laughs> oh hey, that's like this is the one that's easy. Even I can remember this one. See so yeah, I hear the enemies are starting to <laughs> run inside the dining room. So now I'm just making the run for the doctor bag. Nobody shoots at me. <laughs> and now I just make a run to the courtyard to signal the helicopter. Whatever you call this middle area. Do you call it a courtyard? I don't know. English is not my strongest language, as you've probably known. Nobody so far if you even listen to any of my other commentaries. Yes, my English, very good, yes. Be good English, long time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now I have the diamond, now it just need to run around, avoid the enemies. As much as possible, until the helicopter arrives. So yeah, there's not very really much to do. Right now, just avoid the enemies. The uh, <laughs> here comes the captain, Captain Winters. Uh, captain Winters uh, isn't really in general that difficult to take down if you have explosive weapons, which is one of the reasons why you should almost always have one explosive weapon on you, especially on the heists where uh, Captain Winters spawned, but again. Having explosive weapons in general makes it so you can deal with shields head on so you don't need to, you know, run around them, which, which is really, really nice, especially if uh, there is a shield that can, uh, that can shoot you even if you are hiding in cover. It just sucks that you, when you cannot just take on it straight on and you have to run out there because if you run out there you always have the chance of getting targeted by more enemies. And as well, explosive weapons are extremely good for crowd control. Which means uh, with explosive weapons you can control spawns very easily. Like very, very easily, even a one down. See I hear a few enemies are making their way towards me, but uh, 
yeah, here I'm, of course, when uh, they start to arrive, I decide to run towards the uh, helicopter, the escape helicopter. Of course, that uh, doorway, as I tried to run uh, on the, uh, through the first time, it was completely blocked. And of course, I am have to miss the diamond, like, yeah, throwing the diamond inside the helicopter too. Yeah, that's the diamond on one down which Namo 88 and M car. Not really too difficult. I'm impressed. Your portion of the proceeds is in transit. Enjoy your payday. So yeah. But yeah, the diamond one down is it's fairly easy. It's just run around, kite the enemies. It's a pretty huge map to kite enemies on, so yeah. And as always, going to show off, uh, you know, loadouts, weapon bots, perk deck, the yeah, M car, modded for loud without concealment in mind. And Shinama 88, same thing, modded for loud without concealment in mind. Also no silencers on it, because no silencer skills, there's no reason to run silencers, except we want to do stealth. Sicario, smoke bomb, the AI abilities and boosts, and no mods installed, running the game at 30 FPS, aka cheese mod, <laughs> cheese mode, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's it, so yeah.